Uh, we wanted to do something different, but I need the house lights up a little bit for this bit. Oh, hello. Jesus, put them back down. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> oh, so funny. Um, so we wanted to open the floor for a bit of a Q&A, which we've never really done before. Uh, but we realise there's a lot of heads here, so what I'm going to do is ask you to put your questions via your hand in the air, and I will repeat them if you can shout them loudly. So if anybody has a question, we're going to take about five right now, four or five. Set your hands up. Okay, this man right here, you were first up. Shout it as loud as you can, please, and I'll repeat it. Oh, God. Uh, he said, can I get a picture? Um, yes. And how, we do, how do we do that? Well, you go over there and he comes forward. Yeah, well, that, can you come down? Can you do that? Just don't... Just get that done Don't squash it. Because that, that's going to take a while. storage. <laughs> He's on that four gigabyte iPhone 2. <laughs> One day, Joe, someone will, someone will ask us. I'll ask you. And you'll ask, ask me. me. <laughs> and the song that means the most, I don't know, what do you think? Like, one of the first songs we did. The old yeah. I, a song like Graveyard Whistling means a lot because it was the first song we wrote and we were like, this isn't shit. Not right? swear word. Yeah. Sorry. This isn't shizer. Um, and we, um, yeah, we were quite proud of ourselves that we actually had written a song that was listenable. <laughs> okay, sorry, yeah. Uh, this man here with the glasses, hello. Yeah, when we've given up, probably. <laughs> Um, yeah, I love, really love the cover. Um, you should have asked that question. Yeah, in about three questions time, time because... Let's invite him back. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll say... But you know what you've got to do, don't, don't mess with us. <laughs> I was going to say fuck with us, but I decided not to swear. <laughs> Alright, let's try it further at the back. Is there any more lights I can get at the back? Because I don't want to leave people out. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, I see a man there with a pint in his hand. With the... Yes. Good question. As a band, we're very versatile, thank you. Um, our biggest influence. I mean, overall. Yeah, exactly. Like, Radiohead is just kind of the undercurrent. Um, and Abba. We'll come back to you. Yeah, exactly. Change the particulars. Please help okay. me. I do have a question. Yeah. I want to ask the little girl with the little uh, earmuffs thing. But we might have to get mum or dad to shout, unless she's here alone. And if so, I respect that, and my Q&A to you is, why are you here alone? <laughs> <laughs> Mum and Dad, can you shout the question if she has one? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we weren't going to play that tonight, but do you want to we'll whip it out a bit? <laughs> we'll play do it for you. What's, what's her name? What's your name, darling? Annabelle. Annabelle, we will play Impossible for you. Okay? Joe! I do have a question for you. Alright, one second. Hi. Hi. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, which song is the hardest for you to play live, or which song you don't play live because it's too emotional? <laughs> which song is the hardest to play live? Or which songs we don't play because they're too emotional. <laughs> Neil Brother is so emotional. It just makes us so cool. I can't take it. I, like, <laughs> um, I don't think there are any songs that we shy away from because they're too emotional. Um, okay, which ones in I the beginning they hurt the most? Say again, sorry? Which songs when you wrote and you started playing it, which one hurt the most? Hurt the most. Uh, I think. Um, if I get higher, as I don't know, I really like that song. Woo! I agree. I, 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 I,
conciseness to it that I think works really well. And uh, I think the older I get, maybe the more um, I feel that song. So probably that song. What about uh, six billion? I've got one. Too many questions. Sorry. I've got one more. One more guy here. The Green Mist Band. What are you saying? So much. Yeah, you oh, can. Yeah, you can. I tell you what. I've got a, at work at the moment, but I'll do it. I'll do it in a bit. I'll come and sign something. I'll give you a pick as well. Four here, so. All right, let's do, let's do one. Let's do one more, and then we'll move on. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you've been raised up with tattoo. Um, oh, hello. Everyone's got fucking tattoos nowadays. But... <laughs> Oh, I love, that's a good question. Will we do a live orchestral set? It's a dream, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, definitely, it's, definitely, uh, it's definitely in the process. But we're thinking about it. That, that's been in the works for a long time. And there are certain songs I feel like we like, haven't played yet ever that we're saving for that moment. So hopefully one day soon. Yeah, yeah. So let's invite... Um, the young man who asked about would we do a covers album back to the, the front. Oh, can you ask that question again, please, sir? <laughs> it's funny you asked that. <laughs> we, we might do, but what we'll do for you, totally unplanned, is play a cover now. <laughs> and, and do you know what? To accommodate the guy who asked the question about our best influence, we said Radiohead, we'll accommodate you as well. Do you know what I mean? 